Hi, I am Shafranco Papa and I am CTO and co-founder at Somnia Software. And today at Flutter Tips, we're going to see modularization. Okay, so what is modularization, right? So modularization is just a design pattern in software that the goal is to separate functionalities of your application into independent and interchangeable modules so that each module can really focus or execute just one specific functionality. Right. So in practice, we are going to show an example. And here I have like the basic Flutter app with a counter. The only difference is that I already put in place a state management solution. We are using Block uh, and Qubit. And I have also put the sharp preferences package. So we can uh, have some kind of persistent whenever we click on the button. So uh, if I hold restart here, we will see the number one because we are persistent the counter information. All right, so let's go to the counter qubit, right? So in here we have uh, the qubit that is uh, really tied to the sharp reference library. So what we are going to do is try to modularize the way we persist information, the information of the counter in a separate package. So if we, if we go to the packages folder that I already created, we can uh, kind of like create our own package. I'm using Mason just to speed up certain things but i'm going to create the counter storage package right where we are going to basically have all the information about how to create a, a read and save information uh, in this case in sharp reference so what we need to do is to grab the sharp references library and just put it on the other passpeg yaml in the passpeg yaml of our new package called counter storage all right, so we are going to save. So if we go here, we will notice that we already have in place the counter storage. And we are going to need three methods. So basically, I'm going to start migrating the method that we already have in the counter qubit and that belong to the sharp preference library, and such as the get instance, the initialization, the get int that is retrieving the value of the counter key, and the set in that is saving the value of the of the uh, counter. So we are going to copy and paste uh, this information into the new package. So first, I'm going to grab this method and I'm going to put an async method here that will be initializing the sharp reference library. All right, then we will have, okay, so we, we also have to bring the shared preference instance in, in here. So we will have in here, we might import this. And then we will have, for example, another method to set the int and another method to get the int. Okay, so we're going to start first with uh, get int, that is to retrieve the information of the counter. Uh, we are going to grab here the line get int, and we are going to copy and paste in here. So basically, what we have to return is the value of uh, the key. So instead of the counter key, we are going to provide a method to any key. So in this case, I'm going to send a custom key, and we have to pass it to the method. All right. This will, of course, return an integer. And in the case of setting an int, this can be void. And what we really want to send to this method, if we go back to the sending method, would be the counter key, I mean, any key, and the next value. So here we will put string key as well as the value. And we will save this information in the shared preference. All right, so now that we have, let me see, just uh, in here that we have the shared preferences as a late. And it is complaining because uh, it, it can be constant. Okay, so we might delete this one. Okay, so now that we have all of the interface of our counter stores, we might use it in the counter it right so we have to delete this information and just replace it with an instance of the counter storage so we are going to provide the counter storage 
right? And then what we need is to import the counter storage into our package. So we are going to go to the passpec YAML and just import the new counter storage. To do this, we have to specify the path and the path will be packages slash counter storage. All right, so if we go back here, now we can import the correct package. And then we can replace the methods such as awaiting. So we will really await for the counter storage that in it. And also we are going to replace, okay, so we, we have to change this in here and we have to return a future. And in here we are going to replace the get in of the share preference because we are using the counter storage and we will just get the int using the counter storage. And in here we really have to set the int. And we now can remove the share preferences from the counter qubit. So now let's run it and see if this is working fine. So here we can still uh, increment the counter and we can still retrieve the latest value. So in here, what we've done so far is try to create a new package, put the dependency uh, in this package. So we can start re reusing all of the logic of saving and retrieving the counter in any qubit or any kind of logic we have in the, in the application. So this will be like an example of using modularization and try to create your own packages to use those dependencies and don't depend so much on those dependencies. And if tomorrow we decide to have a different way to save the counter, we can do it and it will impact only in one place, in the counter storage. So, okay, I've, I I hope you find this information useful and let us know in the comments if, if you already knew it. So see you in the next part of tips.